you asked me how we uh, use our donations now, um, we had to be a little bit more creative. Like um, apart from distributing food, we have also um, really transitioned from food to fund drives because we don't have volunteers to repack the food during okay. COVID for safety reasons. Okay. Yeah, so we had encouraged most of our um, donors or partners to um, contribute uh, funds or, or money, you know, because it's just e easier to move. We had um, mm -hmm. purchased some gift cards to give to give out to the community. Um, and also we tried to localize uh, better. Like if, um, if we have a food pantry where the route of the food donations would, would um, pass, pass by, then we would reroute the food to them or um, try to partner up uh, a regional food bank with a donor so they could do a food match up. So the food doesn't have to travel so far going to our headquarters to be repacked. You know, they could start like partnering up with other um, food banks and pantries, mm -hmm. you know, to, to distribute the food to people. Okay. That's so interesting. Um, I had no idea the kind of impact that you guys make. So, I mean, just I applaud your work. I applaud your your passion for doing this. It's so, so important. And I truly don't think people realize how widespread and, and large of a problem food insecurity is. So thank you for doing the work that you do.